So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sang uh, Today I'm talking about uh, data visualization technology. So how many of you heard about the environmental impact assessment? Would you please raise your hands? Just one, two, and three. And how many of you read the document of the EIA, real document? Just one person. So not, not so many people are here interested in the EIA. Anyway, I'm talking about how to visualize the EIA data. So EIA is a kind of legal or institutional process to balance the development and the conservation. So uh, a large development project should go through the, this kind of uh, uh, EIA key stages, screening, scoping, and assessment and prediction, submission and the conclusion, consultation, and the decision making. During each uh, key stages, EIA produces lots of lots of documents and statements. And then, as you see, uh, you can see this kind of real document and statements uh, in an EIA process uh, according, to, according to the research uh, performed by the uh, UK government, uh, around 8,000 pages are produced during an EIA process. In Korea as well, uh, this is the real cases of the EIA statement, and then I saw that you can see 1,800 pages. It's very long and very huge and very burdensome. The main problem is that the scientific data and the prediction data and other produced simulation data are just stuffed in the document. So uh, as uh, readers and as uh, stakeholders, the only thing you can do is just read the document. There are no interactive ways to manage and visualize and other things. So that's the why we started this research, and this research is funded by the uh, Ministry of Environment, Korea. So this is the motivation. Uh, the motivation is very simple. Uh, make EIA document great again. That is the uh, uh, background of this research. So this is uh, just the overall architecture of the whole uh, research. And then the, this is the five years span uh, national research, and uh, this year is just the uh, third year. Uh, this shows the concept conceptual system design of our system. So data lay this system is also layer-based uh, system architecture, and the data layer, processing and business layer, application layer, and the service layer. And then we can broke down the many kinds of uh, user requirement into atomic pro atomic process. So the, uh, in terms of EIA, there are bi biological, atmospheric, water, and the soil. So 21 items will be covered during the EIA process. But the, that kind of things break down in, uh, into a smaller items, uh, such as land use, soil, terrain, geology. And that kind of things also break down, once again, geometry, DEM. And at the bottom of the th this system design, we can see the atomic process and the atomic uh, analytical functions. So, and then we can make use of WPS and other OGS, OG standard. Uh, we can make use of the system architectures. Uh, so, in terms of a physical platform architecture, we make use of the GeoServer, PostGIS, and OpenLayers. At the same time, we use a Mago 3D. Mago 3D is a digital twin project developed by my own company. And then the, this is also open source project. You, if you visit the GitHub, and then the, if you search the Mago 3D, you can see the, all the source code there. So for the visualization platform, we make use of the Mago 3D like this. So I would like to share some of the results. Uh, this is the uh, uh, flood simulation. So uh, this runs on top of the your web browser without installing any software. So you can see the how the river flows and if there is a bank, how the bank uh, block the water flow. And then the, if you uh, if you move the banks to other places, and then the, how the uh, river flows uh, the other way. Uh, just a moment. like this. So this is just a, a basic implementation of the logic. And then the, the second one is the oil spill or pollutant spill. So let's imagine that uh, there is uh, some uh, oil factory and then they spill the oil through the river. And then the, we can see the, uh, this kind of things on your web browser. Uh, and then the, how the things going well, going, going through the river. And the third one is that the, um, 
sunlight and then the shadow simulation. Sunlight and the shadow is very important to the health of the citizens. So if you develop the very large cities, new towns and other things, you need to go through the, this kind of sunlight and uh, shadow simulation as well. So uh, our system calculating the uh, sunlight and the shadow and finally it will show how many hours our citizens can have sunlight. So according to this uh, analysis, now we can have more than five hours, so it's okay to develop the, this area. So wrapping up, current EIS st statements are quite paper document oriented, so we need to change the paradigm, and then the current EIS statements are hard to navigate, read, and understand with the flow of jargons, technical terms, and the scientific numbers, uh, which makes public inaccessible to the real meaning of the statements. So. Uh, there are lots of lots of things we need to do and there's still a long way to go, but this will be the start of our new uh, research for the uh, interactive EIA process. Thank you so much.